How's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Streak is still alive, man. So a couple days ago, I made a video where we basically did 100% regression and 0% progression, which basically means that everybody after every season got worse, like really, really bad. Everyone was getting worse. I think LeBron after three seasons overall was like a 92. Steph Curry's was like a 90. So you could just tell everyone was getting really, really bad. And the number one comment on the video was do the exact opposite. So that's what we're doing today. So take a look at the settings. We go down towards the bottom. We got regression on zero and progression on 100. So everybody's going to get better. The team we're using for this is the Lakers because I picked the Lakers because they got the young players. And I know after a couple seasons, these guys are going to be superstars. Brandon Ingram, D'Angelo Russell, Jordan Clarkson, you know, Julius Randle. These guys are going to be great. But I, what I want to do, actually, like my strategy for this rebuild challenge, it's going to be pretty easy. I, that's what I'm thinking, at least. It's going to be pretty easy to do it. My strategy is going to just get younger Get young as possible. So, Lou Aldang is going to get traded right off the bat. Probably the same thing with Lou Williams. Tim, Timothy Mozgov, that contract's got to go. Nick Young's got, like, everybody, like, at the age of 30, they're all going to get thrown away. For younger players or future draft picks, whatever we can get. So, I'm going to start off with trying to trade Lou Aldang. Even though in real life, I do like Lou Aldang a lot. Like, I mean, he's an ex boy you know, Bulls fan. I love my Bulls players. But right now, he doesn't really fit the mold. So, we got to trade him. All right, so this is a trade we're going to do. Lou Aldang and Lou Williams trading two guys that I wanted to trade for Justice Winslow and Goran Dragic. I like that trade a lot. Probably going to uh, trade Dragic right off the bat, too, just because he is 30 as well. But we pick up a small four. Oh, we already had um, Brandon Ingram. I don't know why I forgot about that completely. But Justice Winslow, another young piece that's just going to get better, man. So um, probably going to trade Jose Calderon and Werthes um, and then Mozgov. And we continue to get younger. Timothy Mozgov, Jose Calderon for Gary Harris and Jakar Sampson. Both of these guys are about 23, I want to say 23, 24 years old. So they're going to get better. Uh, yeah, Gary Harris 22 and then Jakar is 23. So we got to trade this guy, Nick Young, and then Drogic. And then we'll be ready to send some games. Um, also, we're making these trades. I mean, we're getting worse, which is great because we're going to have a high draft pick. And this is going to be... One of the few challenges where I actually draft. I know I never, I never actually draft, but I'm gonna do it in this video because we want to get, like I said, as young as possible. So basically, I'm not even looking at overalls when I'm looking at these things. I'm pretty much just looking at their age, and I like Stephen Adams. So we're gonna come back to that, see what else we can get. This first round pick looks enticing, but I think I would rather have Stephen Adams because I we did trade trade Mozgov, and then Stephen Adams is gonna give. Oh. No, I don't want to trade Larry Nance Jr. though. So let's go, let's go back and get Steven Adams on the team. And we trade Nick Young to go along with it. And I think we are oh, well, he's on a one-year deal. He's not gonna make too much of an impact. So let's go to the rotation. First season number one. We got D loading, Gary Harris. Actually, I do still want Jordan Clarkson starting. Uh Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle, and Steven Adams off the bench. We got Gary Harris, Justice Winslow, Ursan Ilyasova, who can stay. And then, yeah, man, the team's looking bad. <laughs> but that was the plan, right? The team was supposed to look bad. So I'll take it for now. I'm going to send right to the end of the season, go to the offseason, get things done. Kevin Durant wins MVP. Brandon Ingram wins Rookie of the Year. Our boy averaging 17, 6, and 5. Pretty good there. Jared Seliger, 6 man. LeBron James, Defense Player of the Year. CJ McCullough wins Most Improved. And then Steve Kerr ties his record at 73 and 9. So we did finish with the record of 33 and 49. We won more games than I thought we were going to. So I'll show you this here. We did not finish with the worst record in the league as I expected. We ended on a five game winning streak, which is not good. Um, kind of like in real life. Didn't they do something like that in real life? I don't know. I, I don't think it was a streak, but they won like two games that they weren't supposed to. Or oh, that was the Knicks. It was the Knicks or them. I don't really remember. But here are the stats for season number one. Um, yeah, so we're going to go into the offseason, get things done. Let's see who wins the championship here in season number one. I'm guessing it's going to be the, the Warriors because, I mean, you oh, know, they got they lost in the second round. Hold on. Did they have some injuries? I see Steph. I see Clay. KD only played one minute. OK, and I don't see Draymond, Draymond Green play. OK, I don't know, but they, they got eliminated game seven to the up and coming Minnesota Timberwolves. Timberwolves lose to the Clippers and the Clippers win a championship. 
All right, man. Okay, CP3 doing his thing. Blake Griffin wins finals MVP, and that's it. All right. So now it's my time. It's my time to get some things done. We're going to go right to the draft, see what number pick we have, and I don't know, man. I'm just hoping that it's uh it, it's going to be top five, most likely, but I want number one. I don't just want top five. We got number three. Okay, I can work with number three, even if we had to trade like uh, Tarek Black in this number three pick and trade up. I don't know. Does somebody want the Tarek Black? <laughs> Look at all these great players we can offer, but we don't want any of these. We want that person in the draft. So I want to do like, um, who has the number two pick? And we're going to trade finder for their number two and see if they want anything from us that's not valuable. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yo, does this make any sense whatsoever? They're gonna willing to trade the number two pick for the num. I'm not gonna complain if they want that. Okay, let's let's try to do the same thing with the number, uh, the other pick that we have. Let's go and try to move up to the number one pick. Do they got any? Um. Okay, they don't want to look at that. Terry Black. I know he's gonna come in clutch. We just traded up for the number one pick. So let's see who's the number one prospect. I know like Dennis Smith is there. Harry Giles, like they got some couple guys there. See who we can get, man. Who's the number one prospect? We'll take a look at the mock draft. They're guessing Josh Jackson should go first. But I'm thinking I should go power forward. Um, Because if we take a look at our team, right? Point guard position stacked. Shooting guard. These One of these guys going to be playing shooting guard for years to come. So we don't need to worry about getting a new shooting guard. The small four position looks stacked with Justice Winslow, Brandon Ingram, our power four position. Though we do have Julius Randle, I do think that another young guy wouldn't hurt too much. So let's go with Harry. Let's bring Harry to the team, man. I'm hoping this is the right move. Um, let's do it. Not going to think too much about it. Number one pick, we pick the power forward. I don't even know what school he's going to next season, but he's on our team right now. He's going to Duke. Makes sense. All the top prospects go to one of those teams. Duke, North Carolina, all those guys. So, okay. So, you guys that know these players in real life, like I said, I don't really watch much of the, the high school ball, so I don't know much about these guys. You guys that do, you're probably yelling at me because I didn't take some of the other guys, Dennis Smith or Josh Jackson, who's a Jason Tatum. I think that was his name. I passed up on all the guards to go big with the number one pick. Uh, so, if we look at overall, we... Did the right move. He's the highest overall there. I mean, he's tied with a couple people, but basically the highest overall there. We're going to pass on this guy. Man, that name is crazy. From K He went to Kansas. Okay. All right. I was thinking he's going to be a European player, but okay. We got a bunch of options just because we got so many young guys on their rookie contracts. We're going to bring all these dudes back. And because of that, we probably have a lot of money to spend in free agency, which is cool. We're going to let these guys walk. I know Ryan Anderson's kind of young, but 2.2 2 mil is too much for the player he is. Um, everybody else can go, man. Everybody else can go. I think, do we want to try to go big in this offseason? We got $62 million worth of cap space. $62 million. So I think I'm going to try to bring in Russell. Russell's still pretty young, 28 years old. So let's offer him the max player option. No trade clause. Yes, I'm going to get another point guard potentially when I have two great point guards. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, man. I know. But it's Russell Westbrook, right? You can't pass up on that. So let me look at the roster one more time. A new a backup center can be is definitely a necessity. Shooting guard position can lead a little help, at least for a third string. Because, all right. Okay, I'm just going to sign some players and we'll be back with it. All right, guys, moment of truth, play up progress. Let's see how much people get better. As you can probably guess, we did do a big free agent signing, and Russell Westbrook is... This is insane, dude. 100% progression just brought D'Angelo Russell to a 93 overall after one season. Brandon Ingram is a 91 we what this is crazy this is insane yo i didn't expect it to get this high they jumped up 15 let's take a look around the league some or some more young guys let me think look isaiah whitehead jumped up 13 my god emmanuel moody jumped up 11 jamal murray jumped up this is crazy uh who's this joseph young jumped up 10 miles turner jumped up a bunch oh anthony davis stayed the same though what the heck 
Chuck Diallo, Check Diallo jumped up nine. Like, this is crazy. Buddy Hill didn't jump up much, which is crazy to think about. 10 for Stanley Johnson. Henry Ellison jumped up eight. Like, this is crazy. The man DeLon Wright is about to be, like, fighting for that starting point guard position right now. Bruno Caboclo. The guy who was like two years away from being two years away is now here. Those four years are over. Bruno Caboclo is going to be their starting small four next season, which is crazy. Just think about what else? What else is here? James Harden gets better. Nobody really on that team. But Powell gets worse. He's going to be the one guy <laughs> in his entire roster to get worse. Okay. Uh, Dragon Bender jumped up nine. Nine for Marquise Chris. Like, man, this is crazy. This is fun. This is definitely fun. Carly Towns only jumped up three. I was expecting if anybody's going to get a lot better, it was going to be him. Um, Chris Dunn only jumped up three. Damian Lillard got a little better. Steph Curry is now a 99 overall. His three-pointer can't move. I mean, it was already 99, so he couldn't really move too much. But, dang, this is crazy. KD got so much better. So, even though our team looks great, we still got to face this powerhouse team right here. Bradley Beal jumped up 11. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, we got to worry about this team in the East. Ben Simmons jumps up to a 91 overall. 91 overall. <laughs> Leo Ogilvorge. This is fun, yo. Like, this is one of those, like, really, really fun videos. Look at that. We're going to have a new starting point guard in Chicago. <laughs> Denzel Valentine. All right. Oh, LeBron did leave Cleveland. Who else is there? Jalen Brown jumps up 10. What else? Anybody insanely jump up? Deontay Davis jumped up. He's their new starting power forward now. Who is this? David Lee got worse. Oh, my God. David Lee, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Where did LeBron go again? I think LeBron went to Bo LeBron went to Boston, right? Let me go back. Yep, LeBron is in Boston. 99 overall. So, Jalen Brown's still going to be coming off the bench unless they put him at shooting guard. But this is crazy. This is a lot of fun. So, I was going to say I was expecting us to go big next season, but honestly, with everybody getting this much better, I don't know how next season is going to go. I really don't, but we do have D'Angelo Russell. We do have um, Russell Westbrook. But both of those guys are really, really good now. Let's. Oh, we got three things. Let's send three people to untap potential camp. Justice Winslow, we're going to get him better. We're just going to get these guys better and better. I was hoping that uh, Steven Adams got better, so let's send him to camp so next season he can get better. And let's send our rookie to camp. Okay. So I was thinking that next season probably will not be a championship season, but I'm hoping, hoping we can make the playoffs at least. I think I'm going to make D'Angelo Russell the starting shooting guard now. Um, and then probably going to get to semi games because I don't think we're going to make any trades. Yeah, he jumps to a 95 overall. This is let's look at the rotation. This is just crazy. They want the rookie starting over um over Julius Randle. I get I mean I guess it'll work out. I don't really care that much about it to even mess with it. This is about to be a fun season. So let's get to simulating games and we'll be back. I'm actually gonna stop at the all-star break so we can look at numbers. We are sitting at 39 and 16 at the all-star break. Pretty good record. League leaders. You can see here, anybody that stands out, Jaleel Okafor, averaging 25, um, but not that really. Oh, our guy Brandon Ingram is there. Actually, let's just take a look at our stats individually. Russ Rusberg not even averaging 20. The rookie's injured right now. No big deal, though, because we still have Julius Randle to back him up. But here we go. Brandon Ingram's averaging his double, or I was going to say double-double, with 22 points. Russ, uh, D'Angelo Russell, I don't know why I keep getting these two mixed up. D'Angelo Russell averaging 20. And we're doing good things, so I'm not going to make any trades. Uh, I'm wondering if we have any All-Stars. Let's take a look at the West. We got Russell. We got Brandon Ingram. Oh, and D'Angelo Russell. So we got three All-Stars, which is always good. And then we got two people participating in the three-point shootout. All right. So let's see. Do we have anybody winning awards for us? D'Angelo Russell won this award. And that week, no big deal. MVP, we got two Lakers on there. Rookie of the year, we got a Laker. Oh, I was hoping that we can go for like everything. That's actually a challenge that um, Six Rings of Steel did a while ago where he tried to win every every like award you could think of in a couple years. Okay, let's go back to simulate and see you guys in the playoffs. Kevin Durant wins MVP. Jason Tatum, the guy we passed up on, wins Rookie of the Year. No big deal though. Six man goes to Dario Saric, which is pretty good. Um, you see his average is there. 
Anthony Davis wins Defense Player of the Year. Jamal Murray wins Most Improved. I mean, his overall did jump up a bunch, so it makes sense that he wins Most Improved. And Steve Kerr wins Coach of the Year. So we did finish with the third best record in the Western Conference at 56 wins and 26 losses, you see there. And I don't know if we have any injuries going into the playoffs. So let's see here. We have two pretty big injuries. I mean, three pretty big injuries. These two guys I'm hoping are playing through it. I mean, day to day. It says he has a broken finger, but I guess people can play. Yeah, we they're playing through it, but we do have Julius Randle that is injured, which is not so great. So let's see. Round one is against the Sacramento Kings. Makes make it to the playoffs and they get swept. That was short-lived. We're going against the defending champion LA Clippers in round number two. LA versus LA and we win in five. So we're going against the Golden State Warriors. Let's see. They win game one. Game two they win. All right. Okay. They sweep us. Okay. We got one more year to try to get this challenge done. They win a championship too. But I think next year we're going to have the best. Oh, Dwayne Wade retired. We're going to have the best team because we have so many young guys and we still have a pick this year. Actually, I'm going to trade this year's pick because it's going to be not even a lottery pick because we have one of the best records in the league. So we're going to make that trade. Probably not going to be for anything great. I, if anything, I'll just grab another young player, honestly. I'll just trade this pick and probably all of our future picks for another young player just because this is year number three. You guys know we always do three-year rebuilds. So if it doesn't work in year number three, I don't know, man. We failed in what seems to be one of the easiest challenges. But I don't know because everybody is getting better. It's not just our team. So maybe it's not the easiest challenge. It's one of the most fun challenges for sure, though. So let's do this and try to make this trade. Trade to Tyler Johnson, two first rounders. See if we can get younger. I like this trade. We're going to come back to this for the from the Cavaliers. So remember that, Cavaliers. Um, but other than that, I'm not seeing anything spectacular. Tobias Harris, nah. I don't want Tobias Harris. Gorgie Dang, nah. So Cavaliers, it is. We'll take that trade right here. All right, and then that's it. That's the only trade we're doing. Um, I don't know if I have to resign many players. I'm hoping we don't. A lot of people still on their rookie contracts. So I'm hoping that we can just get away. We're not spending a lot of money again. I mean, we kind of threw a bunch of money at Russell. Now I don't know if we have much. And then we just did that trade to pick up Tristan Thompson, who has a pretty big record or a pretty big contract. But again, all these guys, team options, we're taking them all. We're reloading and going into another season. We can, we'll keep these guys too. Julius Randle and uh, Gary Harris, they can both stay. My rookie or my free agents, Gary Harris said he'll go, but no big deal. We got bird rights if we really wanted to let him go. And Julius Randle's looking for 15 mil a year. Mm. I guess. I guess so, Julius. I mean, I know you are injured for the second time in your three years, but we'll keep you, man. We'll, we'll try to bring you back to the team. All right, so let's see who's on the free agent market. I would love to bring back Harry, but he wants 12 mil a year. Whoa. But he is the youngest person there, so maybe, maybe so. Maybe maybe I'll bring him back. He is the youngest person there. You know, this is all about the youth. This is the youthful challenge, basically. And then we got to make sure that we retain uh, Julius Randle, and we can't negotiate with him tonight. But okay. Ooh, let's pick up Dario. Oh, we don't have the money. I was going to say, let's pick up Dario. All these young guys, they want so much money because they are, they the future right now. These, these are the players that are making teams good. So... Let's go back to talk to um, Julius Randle again and offer him some more money. Just because it is your number three, so I don't know why I'm trying to be stingy with the money. I mean, it's not like we got to pay him after this season, realistically. And then, again, we'll try to bring back Gary Harris since we do have bird rights on both players. Gary says he'll come back. Julius Randle said he'll come back. That's all we really need. And we'll finish up free agency and go to player progression again and see if anybody... Oh, my God. We just keep getting better. This is crazy. Russell gets better. <laughs> Brandon Ingram is now our number two option, I guess. We got so many great guys now. You see all of this. Even the guys we just traded for. Tristan Thompson gets better. And then uh, Richard Holmes gets better, too. So... Good for us. We're going to take a look around the league once again and see if anything stands out to us. Isaiah Whitehead is now like an all-star type player, which is just crazy. Um, Jamal Murray gets better. I, was, I thought that was Michael Beasley. I forgot Malik Beasley got drafted too. I was going to say, Michael Beasley? What is he doing back in the league? I know he's in the league in real life, but not at, not at that overall. So Anthony Davis does actually get better this season, which is weird that he didn't get 
better last season. Isaiah Thomas gets worse. Okay. Look at this. My man Bruno is now a 90 overall. <laughs> this is gets better and better every year. He averaged 10 points a game last season, which I, I thought he'd be averaging more with the numbers he got. Look at his three. His three is a 99 now. His three is a, he's a better three-point shooter than Steph Curry. Or I guess the same since they're both 99. So just keep going. Powell gets worse again for the second season in a row. These guys, these young guys leading the Suns now. So I don't know how this next season is going to go, man. Again, everybody's getting so much better. Kevin Durant is still growing as a player. Oh, man, this is going to be tough. De'Aaron Fox from Florida. Okay, he was in the last draft class. He jumped up a bunch. I know this guy, Lonzo Ball. He went to UCLA? Yes, UCLA. I remember that guy. I watched, like, his hoop mixtape a while back. But, again, I'm just going to go through the rest. LeBron is 99 overall. You can't get better than that. Josh Jackson. We passed up on him. He's now a 90 overall. What is our guy? I didn't even look at our rookie that we drafted. He's an 88. It's okay. Maybe we didn't make the right move, but it don't matter. Let's go to training camp, and we're going to get to seven games again. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, everything that we can win the championship next season. So three training camps again. I'm not going to send them to untapped potential because it doesn't matter anymore because uh, we're not going back to that, right? We're not going back. So let's send Russell to get his outside shot a little better. Uh, big man offense will give to the young guy there. Rebound and oh, we can't give it to him again. So let's go like, um, let's get perimeter shooting to Justice Winslow. All right. Did we do that? Yes. Okay. So we're going to go into next season, send some games and we'll be back. Kevin Durant wins his third consecutive MVP. This guy wins Rookie of the Year averaging... Excuse me? Oh, you know why? Because every team has a rotation of players with the overall 80 or above. None of those rookies got any tick. Why did they pick this guy, though? <laughs> what did this guy do? He didn't do anything. I'm sure there's probably one rookie out there that played at least a minute. We got to go see. Six man of the year goes to Henry Ellison, Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year. Co uh, or most approved was to Jason Tatum. Coach of the year is Byron Scott. Yours truly 70 and 12 record. So we did have the best record in the league, and I'll show you that. But I want to look at those rookies, dude. Yeah, they had rookies that played. Why did they give it to the dude that... <laughs> I don't understand 2K. I've lost all faith in 2K's like, decision-making. Look, he's all the way at the bottom, too. Look at him. He's all the way at the bottom. He hasn't played a single minute this year. Why is he the... Oh, okay. Uh, take a look at our record and everything. Best in the league by far. Even the Golden State Warriors can keep up with us. But on the other side, they got Bruno Caboclo and company going crazy. So we may have to face them. We may have to face young Bruno. So here are our stats. We actually have an injury in Brandon Ingram. Only one to two weeks, though, so I'm hoping that he can come back or we can get out of this first round before or, yeah, when he comes back, he'll be good for round number two. Actually, I'm really curious, really, really curious to see if it's Bruno Caboclo doing a thing for this team because that would just kill me inside because I'd be dying laughing. But, uh, no, he's only averaging 13. Okay, let's get to some of the games. Round number one is against the Denver Nuggets, who have a couple good guys, Jamal Murray and Emmanuel Moutier, but we beat them in four. Then we're going against this old team who's getting worse every year. We beat them, and now we're going against the Golden State Warriors. Second year in a row, we met this team at this point. Um, hopefully, we don't have... we still Okay, we don't have any injuries still, so nobody got injured in the playoffs. Look at their team. Let's hope they do have injuries. Is that petty that I'm hoping they have injuries? Because I feel like that's the only way... We can get past them, but they don't. They got a dude named Roach on their team, so they can't be killed, man. They can't be beat. So let's see if we can do it. Let's see, man. Let's see. They got 299 overalls. Oh, Lord. Okay, we got one game. Come on. Take this one. Yes. Game five is always, well, not always, but one of the most important games, and we lose it. Game seven it is, boys. Oh, oh, 2K does this to me. They want me to have a heart attack, but the boys are going crazy. Doesn't matter. We win by 28. Who did it for us? D load and came in the clutch. He's got ice in his veins, almost getting that triple double. And then Russell Westbrook doing his thing too. Okay. Championship game. The matchup everybody's been waiting for. 
the two teams, the two tankiest teams over the last couple seasons going head to head. Those young prospects finally coming up. Oh, Julius Randle's injured again. He pulled a muscle and he's out for this. Well, I guess the season's only like a week long right now, but he pulled a muscle. All right, we're going against Ben Simmons and company who's a 95 overall. What is he averaging now? Only 10 points a game. <laughs> But they, their team is pretty good, though. I'll give them that. They have a really good team. They got Tyson Chandler, who's their veteran. He's got some championship experience, for sure. But let's see what we can do, man. Game one is a win for us. All right, boys. It's looking good. Let's get to game three. Let's win game three for the sweep. And we sweep them. The Los Angeles Lakers are the champions for the 17th time in franchise history. Russell Westbrook wins finals MVP. Dirk retires. He said, I had enough of these young dudes. It's time for me to go after I just cashed out on 50 mil a couple seasons ago. All right.